Have you ever been scrolling through Instagram and you see a background that you really like and you wish you can actually use that background for your image? Well, here's how you can straight up see the background. I'm also going to show you how you can generate similar unlimited background for your own image if you want to steal like an artist. Let's jump right into the video. I've always been a huge fan of Felix Crown work. His background is really amazing and fascinating. Just take a look at this background right here. I've generated similar background to this one. Let me just show you. So this is the Felix Crown image. And this is the similar background I generated with that image right there. So let me just put it side by side so you can see. So you can see this is Felix Crown and see the one I generated. Now if I show you how to generate similar background, let me show you how you can straight up steal a background, all right? So first of all, you are going to download the image you want to steal the background for. So let's say I want to steal this background. So I'm going to download this image. I can take a screenshot to my phone or I can just copy the link. I'll come to Google and just type install downloader and hit enter so from here i'm going to click on this first link right here and just paste the link which i copy here so after i paste the link i'm just going to wait for it to process right here so you can see right now it's been processing now from here i'm just going to download the image as jpeg so as soon as it's downloading i'm just going to open the image so this is the image right here now what i want to do now i'm going to open this image inside of photoshop so i'm just going to open my photoshop now from here, I'm just going to drag and drop this image inside of Photoshop. I'm just going to open inside of Photoshop. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to press on Ctrl J to duplicate my background layer. Then I'm just going to remove the subject from the background using Generative Fill if I want to straight up steal the background. So I'm going to make a selection of the subject, Cloud Select, to get a more accurate selection. So after making a selection of the subjects like this, I'm going to come to my Select right here. I'm going to click on Modify. And I'm going to click on Expand. And for me, I'm going to expand it by 10 and hit OK. What I'm going to do for me, under this generative fee, I'm just going to click on Generate and just leave it blank and just click on Generate. So it's just going to automatically fill that place generative fee for. So we have two options. So you can choose this one. So this is the first option. This is the second option. And this is the third option. I feel this third option all for me. So let me quickly show you the before and after. So see the before and the after. And from here, you can just use the remove tool to remove this um, watermark right here. So create a stamp visible layer by pressing on command option shift E. So once you create a stamp visible layer, just use your remove tool, pick your remove tool and just click on the watermark to remove it just like that. So let me just go back with what I did. So you can see the before and after. So see the before and the after, the before and the after. So these are you can straight up still any backdrop you see online and you like and use it for your own image but i won't advise you to do this that's why i'm going to show you how you can actually generate similar backdrop and not just copy and paste right now to generate similar i'm going to follow the same process i'm going to save the image i like from instagram or facebook anyway you're trying to see the backdrop you like so just save the image in your laptop and after that bring the image to photoshop and just remove the subject from photoshop so if you don't have the generative fill of photoshop you can just select your subject. I'm going to select my subject right now. At least I will probably don't have the generative fee. After making a selection of the subject, I'm going to come to select again and I'll click on modify and I'll click on expand right here. So I'm still going to use 10. And after that, I'm just going to right click and just click on content aware fee right here. Once I click on content aware fee, it's just going to automatically remove the subject for us. So I'm just going to click on OK right here. And just click on Ctrl D to so deselect. Right now, the subject is no longer on the background. So, save the before and the after. Now, from here, I'm just going to save the image on my PC. So, I'm going to press Ctrl Shift Alternate S and just save this JPEG image of the background to my download. So, I'm going to put it on my download right here. So, this is the image to remove the background. It has been saved to my PC. So, next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to come to my Google Chrome again and just type in firefly.adobe.com and just hit on enter i going to bring me to this website so what i'm going to do from here i'm just going to type what i want inside this box so i'm going to type white studio background and hit generate what i'm going to do from here while this page load i'm going to come to this square and change it to portrait after that i want to scroll the way down under this reference i'm just going to upload that image which will remove the background from photoshop so I'll click on upload image and this is it right here. I'm just going to click on it as a reference. I'm going to increase the strength 
and scroll all the way down. Also, for this style, I'm going to upload that same image as a reference for the style. So, I'm going to click on upload. Just click on this place right here and click on open. Now, from here, I'm going to increase the visual intensity. Also, increase the strength to make it look more realistic. And I'm going to scroll all the way down and make sure my hyper realistic right here is selected for this style. And also, you can choose the lighting. You can choose the camera angle if you want, but I'm going to leave it like this for now. So why studio background is still the prompt, but my reference is this image which I remove the background from Photoshop. So I'm going to click on generate right now. All right, that's me loading. Now you can see we have four options, four similar options. So if I just click on this one right now, you can see. So this is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. This is the fourth one. And if you don't like anyone, you can just change the prompt. So I want to change the prompt to white photography background. So let's see what is going to generate for us. All right. Now you can see that also generates similar for us. So this is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. And this is the fourth one. So let's try another image. All right. So I basically downloaded some image from the scan page. So let's try this one right here. I really like this backdrop right here. So let's see if we can generate similar image to this one right here. So what I'm going to do, I've already removed the subject from the background like I did earlier. So this is the one which I removed the subject from the background from. This one right here. So I'm not going to use this image right here as a reference to generate similar image to this background right here. So what I'm going to do, under this Adobe Firefly, I'm going to come to my reference, click on upload. And just come to my video files let's see video files and just upload that image as a reference so come here upload that image as well as a reference now what i'm going to do i'm just going to change the prompt to brown background with fog and cloud and hit generate uh, you can see so this is what it generated for us. This one, this one, this one, this one. So I think I'm just going to change the prompt. So I think I'm going to remove this fog and just leave cloud and change this and just remove this brown and just leave it at just background. Because I really don't like this bar that I'm getting. So I'm going to click on generate again and let's see what's going to happen. Wow. I think I like, I like this one right here. So I'm just open it so you can see i'm just going to download this right now so i like this one so i'm going to download it all right so this is what it gave us this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one and this is the fourth one so you're just going to use that reference and generate similar for you so if you follow this process you get all limited background and use it to manipulate your image so these are some of the background i actually got when i was doing it so this is the um, reference image this is one of the background this is another one so this is another reference image. This is one of the background I got. This is another background. Another one. Another one. Another one. So basically, you can get unlimited background. All right. Now to get this process working smoothly without having any issue, you have to be using the official version of Photoshop, and also you must have a Creative Cloud account. So those are the only requirements you need for this to work smoothly. If you find this video helpful, then you're going to like this video right here because it shows you how you can get unlimited raw file, how you can get unlimited overlay, and also unlimited snow effects. So watch this video right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Take creative.